What's up, YouTube? This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy, and as you can see in the background, I am playing Just Cause 3, and this game is a lot of fun. It's very buggy, though, if you can tell in the gameplay in the background, but it is a lot of fun. I'm playing this on my PC, and, you know, this game I only got for $25, so that's the reason why I got it, so it's part of the privileges of having a PC game. You can pretty much get them a lot cheaper than the consoles. Now, there's something going on right now, Just Cause 3. It released for consoles as well for PS4 and also the Xbox One. But the problem is, it is running like crap for both of them. But for the most part, the Xbox One is struggling. Now, for the most part, the PS4 version is getting 30 frames per second. But the, there are times that it does dip to like about 26, 25 frames per second, stuff like that. But for the most part, it is 30 frames per second. Now, the Xbox One, however, is dropping down as far as 20 frames per second. Some people said it got it down to 15 frames per second, which is pretty damn bad. Now, we already know how the drill works. It's been they've been doing this for a while now. The PS4, for the most part, for third-party games, has been running better than the Xbox One. But this time, it's a little bit different in the sense that the Xbox One version is running at 900p, while the PS4 version is running at 1080p. So there are different resolutions and you're still running lower frames per second. That's just unacceptable. That that's kind of weird that they're running 900p resolution and they still cannot get the 30 frames per second. Now, obviously this game wasn't optimized for the Xbox One. So yes, I understand that so for the people that go ahead and defend the console say wait, no, that's it's not right. They just wasn't optimized. We understand that, that, but at the same time, like you're run at a lower resolution than another console, and yet you're still getting lower frames per second. To me, that's that's kind of weird. Um, it's kind of it's kind of buggy that, that it's like that. To be honest with you, and I don't know. I think it's unacceptable, and I think it's unacceptable for both consoles. To be honest with you, but for the most part, that's what you expect, though. You know, a game that is running 1080p. On a console right now that's open world you're only gonna get 30 frames per second I mean that should be your target that it is 30 frames per second and not 60 frames per second because let's be realistic they can't handle 1080p and 60 frames per second it's just not gonna happen you know there's PCs that are struggling to get 60 frames per second with this because this this map for just cause 3 is huge you know there's a lot of things that are going on in this world and it's huge and so you kind of understand where the Xbox One's coming from, but at the same time, you just you just can't you just can't forgive it. You're like you're looking at 900p resolution, and it still cannot get 30 frames per second. And it just makes you think, not just about the Xbox One, but about these consoles in general. You know, how much longer does this generation have? You know, we just started the generation; it's two years into it. This is a time where all these developers are supposed to get used to the consoles, and we're supposed to make it better, but. Did we already reach that limit? Or are we already there where we really can't do too much more as a developer to just make better games on a console? Because I'm not necessarily saying a better game equals graphics, but let's be realistic right now. Like, there's people that still have not transitioned over from 360 to Xbox One, and also from PS3 to PS4. So, is it worth them to even go? Like, I've been saying since a, a while now that we're overdue for people to transition over because this has been the longest, the last generation was the longest generation ever for consoles. You know, it's still going on today. We're still supporting those games and I don't think we should. It's been the longest generation. On top of that, it's been the longest period between generations. So meaning that now the Xbox One, since the Xbox One and PS4 has been out, we've been supporting the old console for two years. That's the longest period in time since they did that. So you can look it up. It's been a long time since, you know, we did anything about it. it it's kind of it's kind of strange that we're still supporting that. Maybe that's what's affecting the games. Maybe they can't push it to its limits because they're still supporting the older games. I don't know. But this Just Cause 3, like, pretty much shows that, like, right now this is a problem with these consoles. And... Maybe the best way is to do it is the way I did it, if you could afford it, is to get a PC, to get a PS4, and an Xbox One. This way you could play the best games from all platforms, you know? And maybe that's the only way to do it, but majority of people can't afford that. You know, you can't just grab everything at one time. You have to put money aside and get one at a time. Like, 
So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the solution is to this because this is a problem. This, it's not right for the people who have it for Xbox One that they're not even experiencing 30 frames per second. And yes, like for the people who say, oh, it's not that bad, it is pretty bad when you're running 20 frames per second in certain parts. That is noticeable and that does mess up gameplay. You know, if that's the case, then drop it down to 720p. And if 720p you can't do it, then go down to 480p. I don't know what it is, but make sure it's 60 frames per second because that's ridiculous right now. All right, it's 2015, almost 2016. You know, we have to get steady frames out there. It's pretty much ridiculous. But let me know what you guys feel about that in the comments down below. I'm going to link the Kotaku article where I got this from down below as well. Definitely go read out, you know, read the full article and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy. I'm out. See you too. Don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so you can see new videos from me every week. And remember, it's okay to be not too nerdy.